Welcome to the end of week one of self-isolation. We thought we'd kick things off by answering the million dollar question, is now a good time to invest? So starting with the facts. About every decade or so, the global markets go through a big drop like this, and it always happens for a different reason. I spent the last week or so kind of thinking back on 2008 and the last time that the world felt as uncertain as it does now. And a guy at the time, his name's Warren Buffett, and he's um, well known in investing circles for being one of the all-time greats, said something that I've been taking a lot of comfort from, but also that I think is an important message right now. And it goes something along the lines of markets drop and markets rise and economies are volatile, but there's always something intelligent to do. And I can kind of hear people saying, but this is different. And absolutely it is. So I think what we can also do is step back to last century and take some more comfort from the fact that last century, in one 100-year period alone, humanity survived two global wars and a Great Depression. And at every single one of these times, people felt exactly how we feel now, that the, the lives that we have known have changed forever and not for the better. Um, but what we've learned from these times is that not only does the world get through them, but over time, we've actually always gone on to end up better off as a planet. So one thing that I kind of think is investing aside, like we can all take a lot of hope right now from the human spirit and our actually proven track record of taking some of the worst things that have ever happened to us and turning them into a long-term benefit for us. Um, but then I, we also do know that what we're dealing with right now is a health crisis and no one wants to minimize the very real, very horrible impacts that this virus is having on the world. So one of the things that I would say is if you are staying at home right now, you are saving lives. So cut yourself a break. The only person who's going to be impacted by you coming out of this financially better off is you. It's time to be smart and not to panic. So what we thought we'd do to help and get you away from Netflix is to put together five tips to turn this global crisis into what could potentially be a once in a lifetime opportunity for your future. So tip one, have a plan. A lot of investors like the 80-20 rule or the 90-10 rule and basically the concept is you take the vast majority of your money and invest it in a big fund that spreads it across hundreds or thousands of investments across the globe. So what this does is remove any reliance on any one of them to do very well and if any one of them also turns out to be a bit of a long-term dud, it really minimizes the impact on your overall portfolio. That last 10-20% I'll talk about in tip five. Tip two, invest for five or more years. We know that markets gone down, go down. They're going down right now. But in the past, they've always gone up and gone up more. So you need to give yourself time for your investments to recover. Um, I was listening to the Cooking the Books podcast this morning, and Francis was interviewing Tom from Sorted, and he had a really good analogy for this. The worst time to get off a roller coaster is halfway through. So give your investments time to get to the end. Tip three, you will need some courage. No one knows when we're reaching the bottom of this, so you have to prepare for your new investments to go down in value before they go up. That's okay. If you're in this for the long run, do not try to play the short-term game. Step four, or tip four, dollar cost average. So a lot of people try and time the markets, and that basically means try and pinpoint the exact time shares will be at their absolute cheapest, Absolutely, a miracle might happen once and you time it perfectly, but it's very unusual for lightning to strike twice. So what dollar cost averaging means is take the money that you're planning on investing and spreading it out and investing it slowly over the next few weeks or months. We'll have more information about this linked below, so take a look at that. Tip five, back to things you know. So I don't know if you've heard um, a few people panic changing their KiwiSavers recently. One of the things about humans is when you don't know what your money is invested in, all you're left with is this fear you feel when prices drop. But when you think about shares or buying shares as like buying a slice of ownership in a company that you know and really value, then you can turn that fear on its head. And when you see prices dropping, you have the benefit of looking at that as a great investment just going on sale. 
So it's important here to focus on value and not price. So an example of this right now is if you're looking around, you'll see a couple of industries that are thriving in this crisis. Um, things like technology and household staples. So the price of a lot of those has gone down, um, but the industries are thriving. So a price drop here may just mean you've got a great investment at a cheaper price. However, there are some industries that are struggling right now. I'm looking at you, airlines and cruise lines. Um, and it, these <laughs> industries have also dropped in price. Um, but that doesn't mean they're any, anything but a quite a risky investment at the moment. So there you have it. Five tips to end out week one. Have a great afternoon, everyone. And we'll see you for week two of isolation.